Okay, right, we're going to look at our pumpkins today and our harvesting of the pumpkins. I'm going to pan the camera down, darling. Here we go. Um, this is our pumpkins for this year. This is October 2016 and we're about three quarters of the way through the month. And now is the time to get the pumpkins up and harvested. Now we had a bit of a slow start this year, mainly due to the um, cold spring. And the reason the cold spring is a problem for growing vegetables is pollination. Um, and what we tend to find is the bees prefer to stay inside when it's cold, especially honeybees because they've stocked up on honey. Um, so what we're going to do next year to increase the yields is we're going to encourage masonry bees into the area so we can have earlier pollination. And as you can see over there, we've got our bee hotel ready for next year. And this should actually improve upon the crop. But all things said, this is a pretty good crop, so we're quite pleased with this. Um, just a very, very quick guide on how you should be cutting these. Quality pair of secateurs, and there's a very good example here. Um, we cut them well away from the, the main body of the pumpkin here into the greenery of the stem, and that will store quite nicely over winter inside. Um, just a quick resume of the um, varieties we've got here. Um, you probably can't miss this one. <laughs> this is a French one, and I've written it down because it's French, and it's called Gullies. Dazine or something like that. It's, excuse me, French. <laughs> um, but that's good for pumpkins. Just running by the others. This soup. Pumpkin soup. Pumpkin soup. So good for pumpkins. Of course, it's good for pumpkins. <laughs> great, I mean. This is a variety called blue banana. That's a lovely pumpkin which you can eat raw. I do believe, don't we? And here's a large blue banana. There's a very large blue banana over there. Okay. Yeah. Now the other varieties. There's two other varieties here. Even though they're all very odd looking shapes. One's called a Queensland Blue, and one's called a Blue, um, sorry, one's called a Blue Hungarian, and one's called a Queensland Blue. I think these are the Queensland Blues, these funny shaped ones. Don't quote me on that, I'm sure they are. And I think these are going to be lovely to eat raw as well. And the other ones, are these ones here, and that one there, and I think that's the Blue Hungarians. So we're going to store these over winter, and see how we get on, and we'll let you know which ones are best for next year. Anything else I need to say? We've got That's some it. nice veg growing behind us. Yep. The garlic are in. Um, the carrots are fine. In fact, it's all looking rather good, actually. We're quite pleased, considering we had such a shaky start.